Hey loves. Good evening, you guys. I ate alligator pepper and um, uh, the hot is hurting me. Anyway, how are they? Welcome to a new vlog, you guys. I know, right? I'm going to the salon very close to me here. I called the lady and she said she's not around, but her second is in the shop. So I just want to go and wash my hair and weave it back, like do a new cornrows. Yeah. And then have my nails fixed as well. If I show you my toenails, you'll be like, what? Yeah, I want to have them fixed. And now that the lady said that it's her second that is around, I don't know because hair they pay me. Hair they pay me. So I don't want anything that would disturb me. And we are in Hamatan. I don't need stress. But I'll go and give her a try. I'll carry you guys along, okay? Welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And of course, stick around and keep enjoying the vlog. Can you kiss your lanyas and ears? Can you sop raise an anagam? Can you sop raise a cassias and eat it? Hope we are better rigor, are it to a ritu? Yes, and yours are rigor, or it to a toddy tack on a dear. Can you sop raise a cassias and eat it? Hope we are better to pass your hobby. Hope we are put in catching in the look. You guys, good morning. Hi, Debbie. Let me remove these glasses. <laughs> hey, y'all. What's up? Good morning, you guys. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, um, as you can see, I'm all done. I conrolled my hair and it's looking all pink on me. But this morning, this is the next day, by the way, I'm heading out. I am hobby. So, today is Saturday and... In my last vlog, I told you guys I was going to the market to buy things that I want to go and visit a new mom. So yeah, um, it's today and it's in this vlog. So today is Saturday and I'm going to see the new mom. I don't know her house, so first of all, go to Dada's house and then Dada would take us there. Did I tell you, my junior sister came yesterday as well. She came while I was still in the salon, I saw her. And then she just came to pay a visit, a short, brief visit, and my kids seized her. They told her she wasn't going yesterday. She insisted on going. They seized her clothes, like they seized her baby's clothes. <sighs> Story for another day. So, yeah, she's in my house. We will drop her off at the junction, and she will find her where she's going this morning. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I'll carry you guys along. We'll first of all make a stop at Dada's house then that, that would take us to the woman i don't know like i don't know where she lives i haven't been to her house before and the the funny and great part of this video is that i'm so excited this woman is like she she gave birth in her house because there is no money to go to the hospital and i heard that she didn't go to uh, she didn't go for any antenatals so she gave birth in her house and you guys it's so hmm, this is one of the things god can do i told you guys to tell me what god cannot do like she didn't go for any antenatals and she also gave birth in her house like when dada told me this to a baby boy that she was she has been looking for she doesn't have a boy and then she gave birth to a baby boy in her house you guys they said the dad that told me that they called a midwife and the lady came and you know did the cord thing and they are perfectly okay like they are medically okay i think i don't think they've gone to the hospital so i just want to go and see her give her the little thing i have see the baby feel god's goodness yeah and then i'll, I'll feel relaxed 
So you guys, I'll carry you along. We are going together. Then when we when we are done seeing her, Dada made gare for me. She prepared some things for me. Of course, Dada cannot hear that I'm coming and she will not prepare things for me. So we'll go and visit Dada together as well. So let's hit the road. I'll carry you guys along. Okay? Get ready to be sick of these nails. And I love the length, by the way. So short and simple. Yeah, someone left in my comment section one time ago that I love red color. That she has noticed that I love red color. Yes. Yes. I love red. Red on my nails. It gives me joy. I love it. Anyway, you guys, let's head out. Let's start going. Oga is waiting for me. So, yeah, rocking my glasses for the first time. How do I look? Mama. You guys, let's drop this one off and head to our destination. And as a champion, you can use money to do many things. Hi. So that man over there needs help. He needs help with battery. So we dropped off my sister at this junction and the man came to us and pleaded with my husband that he should please help him with battery that he wants to start his car. Yeah, the car has started. So we pulled up. We pulled over Abby. Yeah. For hobby to help him with the battery. So they've lost a gas battery and it's in his car. So that's what they are doing. When they are done, we'll head to our destination. Point <laughs> Only <laughs> 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 Here, she gave Betty here. So miraculous. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. i i Hey, Jima. 
you guys we've come and we are going that's the environment and that's that's her and her situation anyway i'll see you guys when i get home you guys saw everything where she stays the children yeah that is her house so i haven't been here before this is just my first time of coming here and we saw everything together so we'll talk about it when i get home okay yeah let me go and see my dad this is my dad, huh? <laughs> dad, how are you? Any more than I love you, can't you imagine? I don't know. I'm getting a bit. Joyce, this is dad, huh? Mm. My dad, huh? <laughs> dad, <Daddy, check it> I'm <laughs> Guys, I'll catch up later. Let me go and see what dad has for me. Mm. She has to give me something. Mm. About the hint, what I'm. <laughs> you guys see the amount of garada that gave me just look at and you are like your dad your dad look at look at two two heads of plantain eh? just look at in here i have my okazia fang leaf i have water leaf that is one of the Wow, look at all you be no baka. I have loy loy inside here. <laughs> inside here, when I get home, I will unbox it. I will unbox it properly. Forget it. Can your dad that ever? Ah, ah, that I love wrong again. No, what is on beer? I'm gonna be bibia. Some, some. Yes, you guys, <laughs> we brushed at my husband's house, like our village, came to cut plantains. I have plantain that is due for harvesting, so that is why I came to take. And then I took baby Neil's car that helps him to walk. So yeah, I'll catch up when I get home. Hey loves, good morning, happy Sunday. Hi Debbie, hope you went to church. You guys, we just came back from church right now and the time should be past 11, I think, because we dismissed by 10.30 and then greeted one or two people. Then we came back Yeah, We went for seven o'clock service to dismiss by 10.30. So yeah, my kids are having breakfast there. I just came here to close this vlog so that I will edit it. I want to edit it today, being Sunday, so that it will go up tomorrow. So, like, I want to see if I will finish editing this vlog and then start uploading it so that it will finish from now till tomorrow. You guys know network is dealing with us. So, it's Hamatan period and the network is not our friend this time around. So, yeah, I want to see if I will be able to upload this video. I want this video to go up tomorrow yeah so you guys saw how my waka yesterday went i couldn't close the vlog yesterday because by the time we were done in my husband's compound uh my battery was down so yes see i don't want to come here and start telling you people to help we need help i'm just here to tell you guys that if the lord touches you and you want to help that lady just send me a dm if I tell you guys the amount of insult I get from YouTube, like the amount of, a lot of people do as much as come to my DM to rain causes, like to, to insult themselves, not me. 
some even leave it under the comment section some call me a beggar some say that i beg for people too much some say that i beg for like i don't know maybe that is how i was wired since i came back yesterday i was just like see honey i'll just let this thing go and my husband was like if i want to solicit for this woman that i should i don't know her from adam so i got to know her from dad you guys know that huh? uh -huh. you also saw her in the previous clip uh -huh. so that has been more like she has she has been that has been more than a mother-in-law to me that helps me spiritually physically gives me moral advice when needed that helps me with a lot of things i've shared a lot of things with her so whenever i need to do some farm work in the village it is that woman that dada will call to help her you understand so i can remember one certain time i visited dada i be the day i went to drop dada when she came visiting like you guys know dada came to visit me some time ago sometime last year that was early december so uh i went to we went to drop her off me and my kids and then I saw that lady. That was my first time of seeing her. She was heavily pregnant. Heavily pregnant. And I'm like, do you still do the farm work with this tummy? And she said, yes. That is how they eat. And I didn't just see it as anything. So I just left. Gave her the little cash in me that I had. And then I left. Then she gave birth. And then Dada called me that she gave birth. So I was like, I want to go and see her. The only the thing that even prompted me to going to see her was that she gave birth in her house. She came back from work, like from farm work that day. According to the story she told me, she said she came back from farm work. She was not just feeling okay. She went and had her birth, came back, and it was as if she wanted to push. Water started, that, that's water. The Edo now burst, the water burst, and immediately the baby's head came. She couldn't hold it. So she just gave birth in her house. She was thanking God that she was even able to give birth in her house because I didn't she went to any maternity hospital, there will be no money. You guys saw the place she and her children was. Her husband is a mess, a bricklayer. If you see work, you will do. Uh -huh. You will not go and kill somebody. Life has happened to her. That is the situation she found herself. Her kids is the only one that goes to a government school. Other ones do not go. Even that one that goes to school. That one that goes to school. <laughs> she gave birth to her first baby a girl then gave birth to her second baby triplets three girls so one died and then it was remaining two that was three children they were all girls and then she now had to she needed a boy according to her if we go no mentality she now got pregnant again and then god answered her with this boy she didn't according to her story she didn't go for any antenatal visits you guys her story is pathetic, is pathetic and her, her story also is a testimony that what god cannot do does not exist so i'm just here to you you have seen everything i don't have any other thing to say here i don't want people to come and be insulting me again uh -huh. if you are just touched to help her they need food food she have she has started going to do some mini jobs one week she gave birth that day yesterday we went there she circumcised her baby yesterday she circumcised her they are using pieces pieces for as diaper god will see them through so if you're touched if the lord touched you and you want to help her send me a dm okay yeah send. she doesn't have a phone she doesn't have an account number uh -huh. If I want to reach her now, I will call Dada. Maybe if Dada is around, she will go and tell her that I want to talk to her. Or she will go and tell her that, you guys, it's a lot of story. Even Dada herself does not have an account number. If I want to send money to Dada, I will send it through one woman. And then if that, I will not call Dada and go, to tell Dada to go and tell that woman that I sent some money to her account. So, so and so amount, it is for you. So that is how the things are being done yeah if you just my thing the main thing that brought me here is if you want to help her 
if you are touched within your heart to help her if it's sending one of her kids back to school if it's giving her food whatever you want to help her with please drop a comment under the comment section or better still send me a dm uh and my instagram or you send me a whatsapp through this number here i will answer you and then we we'll know how to go about it you understand yeah that being said that is what brought me here i'll see you guys again in another vlog i'm so famished i'm hungry let me go and look for something and eat yeah i'll see you guys again in another one <laughs> i hope you caught it <laughs>